First, let's transfer some farm data into the digivice around your neck. Ah, so that's what it's called, huh? A digivice. You boys got it, boys. We're so in this. Okay, all done transferring data. Huh? The digivice is flashing? The transferred form... Uh, form... <laughs> Farm data in your Digivice sensed your powers and began activating. You're done registering now. Since you're a normal tamer now, Digimon up to rookie generation will obey you. Also, you can now use that Digivice to check all sorts of information. You'll even be able to learn names of Digimon you meet for the first time. Really? How convenient. Now for the really important part. Some might say it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. The data of Digimons... Digimons? Oh my goodness, I forgot that the localization in this game really is awful. The data of Digimon you encounter will get collected into this Digivice. It's called the Scan System. When you collect enough scan data, you can create your own partner Digimon where Digimon are raised. Ah, I know. A Digifarm, right? Bingo, you're right. You're quick. Can I get a Digifarm already? Unfortunately, not yet. You need to get used to being a tamer first. Are you serious? But how? What do I have to do? I'll introduce you to partner Digimon, so that you guys can go venture and gain experience as a tamer. Got it. I'll try it. Okay, go ahead and choose your first partner from the three Digimon. Classic picks right here. Uh, we're going to be taking Sunomon because uh, I'm pretty sure early on in the game you can find Renamon, which can degenerate into Tanamon, although we have to... Uh, is it Tanamon or Tanamon? I think it's Tanamon. Uh, although it takes, you can't degenerate immediately in this game. I think you have to become a silver tamer to be able to, de uh, to degenerate your Digimon. And then I'm pretty sure not too long after that, you can find, uh, you can find either just straight up Koromon or you can find like Greymon or Agumon and get the scan data of them. So it's really easy to get these two, but it's really hard, if not impossible, to find a Sunomon or one of its Digivolutions so that you can use it to degenerate and Digivolve to the other Sunomon stuff. So we're going to take Sunomon. I'm Sunomon, an animal Digimon. I'm an attacker-type Digimon, so I'm aggressive when it comes to battles. How about a partner? Also, Sunomon is the main, like, attacking class of these three. I think Tatamon is defense-based and uh, Koromon is balanced, so I'd rather have the attacker anyways. My only other choice would have been Koromon. We'll be great together, Solo. Also, look at him. He's got a horn on his head. It's adorable. Yep, I'm sure we will. And, of course, I'm not nicknaming Digimon because I've never nicknamed Digimon. Okay, then. We're done for now. I'll be around, so if you need help about something, just come and ask me. Yep, thanks for everything. We're already in, like, the second video. I haven't even had a fight yet. I forgot that this is, uh... Not only did my, like, five-minute intro not help, but I forgot this game is, uh, really slow at the start. But it picks up... Once it starts picking up speed, it starts rolling really fast. My Digivice is flashing again. I wonder what it could be. Now ah, it must be an Observer calling. Observer. They're top Digimon who guide tamers. Return to the... I press A too fast. That's a reader room or header room? One or the other. And meet the first observer. Okay, I will. You guys are going to recognize the observers, by the way. So, you've become a normal tamer. But, this is just the beginning. To be an excellent tamer, you must gain lots of knowledge and experience. From now on, your actions as tamer will be observed and instructed, at times, by an observer. Let me introduce you. I'd like you to follow his guidance and take various actions accordingly. Just be careful not to offend him. Yes, sir. Azulongmon, they're all yours. Yeah, the observers are the, uh, the sovereigns. Thank you. Greetings, Solo. Whoa, a dragon Digimon? Dude, Azulongmon is sick. I love this boy. Indeed, I am the observer of normal tamers. Azulongmon, it's a pleasure to meet you. For some reason, the L in long is capitalized sometimes, and sometimes it isn't. Yes, pleasure to meet you also. Before we begin, let me tell you that there are different observers for each tamer rank. I am in charge of normal tamers, so until you become a bronze tamer, you shall abide by my instructions. So yeah, you can kind of see it. There are four sovereigns. Normal, bronze, silver, gold, and then there's a special observer for platinum. You shall abide by my instructions. Uh, the other observers. What kind of Digimon are they? That is still a secret. You'll find out as you go up in rank. Or if you watch Season 3, you've probably already guessed it. Now for your first assignment. To go on as a tamer, you'll need a Digifarm. It's a necessity. Yes, I agree. That decision will actually be made by me. Your assignment is to go back to where you started, the Data Forest. 
Get enough data to materialize into one Digimon. If you succeed, I will provide you with the Digifarm. Yes, sir. Your HP and MP will fully restore when you return to Digicentral. In the beginning, you should return often. Let's see what you're made of. All right, finally. We're not necessarily out of the tutorial just yet. In fact, the norm the whole normal tamer uh, words normal tamer section, which isn't crazy long, is uh is um pretty tutorial like. But uh, bronze, silver, and gold tamer ranks are where the bulk of the game happen. A rare Digimon only for a tamer king. Hope it's not as scary as a monster. But a Digimon is a monster anyway. Ha ha ha! That's too funny. I think. I'm pretty sure the rare Digimon, I think I remember what it is, but I guess I'll just, you know, for people who don't know, I'll keep it quiet and they can find out eventually. Hey, wait up. Are you going to one of the fields? Yeah, I want to go to Data Forest. Uh, that address is already in, your Digivice, so no problem. Huh? Address? Yeah, every field besides Digi, yeah, where it's Digi Central is on a different server, so. In order to go to other fields, you need to have an address for it. How do you get the addresses? A story, mostly. Nah, don't worry about that. Addresses to new fields are usually sent to your Digivice automatically, when information for them are available. I see. Thanks for letting me know. Well, I'm going to Data Forest. Okay, have a safe trip. Momentai. Alright, let's see if I remember right and the... Uh... Oh wait, we got a cutscene first. Oh hey, speak of the devil. Ah, is anyone there? It's Calamon. Huh? This voice. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, please, help us. Oh, it's a Goblimon, or Gaborimon in this game. Gah, why don't you give up and become my prey? Hey, watch out. You two, come here. Galmon got hurt helping Calamon, which Calamon talks in the third person, so he can't fight. I thought Gaborimon would be easy, and I let my guard down. Let me handle this. But wait, I'm not sure how to fight. Ah, who in the world are you guys? It doesn't matter, I'll crush you all! This isn't good. What should I do? Is this your first battle ever? Yeah, it is. I see. Then I'll teach you how to battle. Nah, I'm good, dude. He's already weak from battling me. I'm sure you can win. Go for it! Bum, 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 bum. Yo, it's actually, in this game, it's not, uh, it's not flipped. So... I think I can actually just, the overworld and the main battle layout are on the same thing. That is not how it is in, uh, in Dawn and Dusk, because I remember having to, I always flip the boss battles around in Dawn and Dusk, so that it would, uh, be more enjoyable to watch. But I guess that wasn't like it, so this is, that's the one thing that this game might have over, uh, Dawn and Dusk, then, to be honest. Uh, you can also see in this game that... In Dawn and Dusk, there is no such thing as a move that does not use MP. In this game, every single Digimon, no matter what form they are, Mega, Champion, Rookie, whatever, they always have one single move that uses zero MP, and I think there are like three moves that do that. So, Charge is one of them. A level two Gaborimon. What a failure. Ow, my feelings. I needed those. Get out of here, you stupid Gaborimon. Give me that EXP. Got two beast experience. Thanks a lot. What? I lost? Not while he's dead. Yay, we won. Thank you, Galmon. At one point, I wasn't so sure. You did pretty well for your first time. By the way, what's your name? I'm Solo. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for saving us. I want to give you a gift in exchange. I know. I have scan data for a Poyomon. I'll give it to you. Really? Wow, thank you. In this game, you get to have six Digimon, by the way. Three in battle at a time, but six overall, just like Dawn and Dusk. I got Poyomon scan data. Oh, by the way, I'm actually the battle helper at the Union office. If you have questions about battles, you can come and ask me anytime. What are the odds? Okay, thanks. Well, I'm heading back to Digicentral. Peace. It's my Digivice. What is it now? No need to be concerned. It is I. I'm contacting you from that room in the Union office through your Digivice. I see. Looks like you got data for one Digimon. As promised, I grant you a Digifarm. Yay, thank you. Why does my character say yay so much? Solo, did you get a Digifarm? I want to repay you for earlier. I'll help you, Solo. Really? I'll be at your Digifarm now on... 
words from now on and let you know if something happens. Is that okay with you, Azulongmon? Good idea. That'll be safer also. Understood. I grant you special permission. Yay, thanks. They really like the word yay in this game. Then I'll head to the Digifarm. Go back to Digicentral right away and take a look at your Digifarm. I will. Off to Digicentral I go. I accidentally held A through that and skipped the text, but I was able to read it anyways. What's up, boys? Okay, we're back in Central. But what should we do now? Huh, what's the matter now? Dude, this is the most helpful Terrier Mon of all time. I was given a Digi Farm, but I don't know how to get there. Ah, that's no problem either. Just get on the right gate circle. It's called the Farm Gate. If you get on it, you can go to your Digi Farm whenever you want. Ah, I see. Thanks. You're welcome. What a nice guy. What a nice guy indeed. Solo, welcome back. Let's get started, Solo. Do you know how to use your Digi Farm? Yes. If you want to ask about the farm, ask Agumon at Tam Reunion. He should have all the answers. Since you have scanned data for Poyamon, let's Digi Convert it to have Poyamon as one of your Digimon. You can Digi Convert only in a farm. Ah, and Digi Converted Digimon are located in your Digi Bank. Switch them with the po uh, with the Pokemon. <laughs> I always do this. If I've been playing one or the other recently, I end up saying the wrong one in the other game. I can't tell you how many times I would pick up a Pokemon game after I was playing Hacker's Memory or Digimon World 3 and I would say Digimon instead of Pokemon. The Digimon list in your farm to raise as many excellent Digimon as you can. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm very glad they let me skip the tutorial. It's a Zulongmon, the Observer, again. Have you learned about the Digifarm? Yes, I think so. You can only be a first-rate tamer if you master the use of a Digifarm. Don't forget. Yes, understood. Anyway, I know this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask you. Yes, what is it? Gabumon, one of the Union staff, has gone to Data Forest and hasn't returned yet. Something might have happened to him. I want you to go to Data Forest to look for him. Gabumon, right? Understood. I'm counting on you. Oh, and also, don't forget to name your Digifarm. I always just use, like, Alpha, Beta, etc. for this. Alpha Farm. Alright. So, did you convert? I'm not sure if I'm going to use Poyomon long term. This game has less Digimon than Dawn and Dust do, by the way. And uh, you know what? This is definitely, it was released during Season 5, not after Season 5 ended. Because I remember now, and this is why I'm not going to use them even though I love Galmon. Uh, Galmon, Agumon, and Sunflowmon can only go to their ultimates. You can get War Greymon, but you can't get Rise Greymon. Rise Greymon is not in the game. Uh, Mott Galgamon is not in the- or Mott Galgamon is in the game. Mirage Galgamon. Mirage Galgamon is not in the game. And, uh... I think Rosemon might be in the game, but you can only get Rosemon by going to Lilymon. You can't Digivolve Lilamon into Rosemon, if I remember right. Bana, bana, bum, bum, bana. I will take Poyomon for now, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using Poyomon long term. Because I don't really think I want Vikemon, which I think Vikemon is in the game and you can get to Vikemon. But, uh, I don't remember what else Poyomon can become. See the Digivolution thing? Yeah, right there. I'm pretty sure that Jumbo, Jumbo Gameamon or whatever it is. I don't remember the name of this thing's Mega. It's the giant Mecha Turtle. I think it's Jumbo Gameamon or something. I don't think it's in this game either, so this guy won't be able to go to, uh, Mega. Also in this game, unlike in Dawn and Dusk, when you Digivolve or Degenerate your Digimon, they have a set level. So like when I Digivolve into Gomamon, for instance, because I just realized I don't have the aptitude to get Crabmon or Kamamon anyways. When I Digivolve into Gomamon, I will be a level 14 Gomamon. I will not go down to level 1 like in uh, Dawn and Dusk. That means that you can't, uh, you can't stat grind as effectively in this game, but you can definitely still stat grind up higher stats if you want to, from what I remember. Uh, Sunomon, I think we're just gonna have go down the Gabumon line, and I'll probably get, uh, I'll get, um, I'll get Metal Garurumon, and maybe even try and get Omnimon, to be honest. Uh, Drakmon goes to Piedmon in this game, I don't really want Piedmon. So yeah, we're just gonna go to, uh, I don't even have the aptitude for Drakmon right now, but, uh, Galmon, Galmon can only go Galgamon, and then Mott Galgamon, and then he stops, he doesn't have a Mega, which is really annoying. But uh, Gabumon is what we're going to go for, probably. We'll go Gabumon. 
And uh, maybe I'll try and get Omnimon, to be honest. I wouldn't mind getting Omnimon. I'm down for that. Man, I just finished that Platinum Soul Link with Michael, and now I'm already back to doing another series where I have to edit the layout to put stuff on the screen. Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. I will be degenerating my Digimon to get them to 99 aptitude, by the way, in this game, because there's a post-game thing that I... I can't remember if you have to connect online to do it, which means I might need an action replay code to be able to do it, which may or may not exist. Hopefully I'll be able to do it, but assuming I can do it, all of those Digimon are level 99, so I'm going to want to be... Maybe not be level 99, but I'm going to want to uh, have... Uh, have my Digimon have an aptitude of 99 and be pretty high level. Degenerating them and digivolving them to get to that 99 aptitude will uh, up their stats a lot as well. So, you know, we'll be doing that just like I, I'm pretty sure I did that in Dawn and Dusk. And then in Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory, I got the maximum amount of Abby. Did I get... Actually, now that I think about it, I think when I played Cyber Sleuth, I did not get max abby in that game except for the digimon that needed it but in hacker's memory i definitely got my entire team to 200 abby i remember doing that you get in cat there's gabumon you get encounters in this game just by walking around just like dawn and dusk there's no real way to make encounters more or less likely Ooh, ooh! i think giga seedramon is in this game i'm fairly certain that giga seedramon is in this game if i remember right so, uh, I would love to get a Giga Seedramon. Oh, but I think you have to DNA Digivolve for it. Or no, is it Metal Seedramon is in this game and Giga Seedramon is in Dawn and Dusk? I'm gonna have to look that up. Because if we can get Giga Seedramon, I want to use Giga Seedramon in this game. But I think you have to DNA Digivolve for it. But I'm pretty sure Betamon... Oh, no, wait. Is this the game where Betamon doesn't Digivolve into Seedramon? Or is that an... I know there's one game where Betamon does not become Seedramon. And I think it's either this one or Dawn and Dusk. I can't remember. Oh, what do I do? What should I do? Aren't you Gabumon of the Union Staff? Yes, that's right. What's the matter? I came to look for you since you took so long. I'm the Union's Equipment Staff. Equipment Staff? I'm in charge of weapons, armor, and accessories that Digimon equip. I recently got some new items in stock, but I dropped one while transporting it. An armor called Bronze Plate. I was taking it back to Central. What should I do if it's not here? It must be back at that place. Okay, let's go back to check. But Ogremon are known to appear in that area, so it's very dangerous. Oh, I got it. What's that? Why don't you go get it for me? What? Me? Sheesh. Oh, all right. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. This is a shortcut. I appreciate it. Okay, then. I'll be going. We're gonna want rookies before we fight Ogremon. Because he's going to be a boss we have to fight here in a second. You saw that chest over there, by the way, probably. Uh, it's a certain color. That uh, that reddish color is color-coded for normal Tamers. There are other chests in the game. The only other color I can remember is blue, and I think purple is one of them as well. Where you have to be a higher Tamer rank, otherwise you can't open the chest. We're also going to want a third Digimon relatively soon, because, you know, three are the max amount you can have in battle, so you want to have that maximum amount pretty quick. But then the reserve, or the relief Digimon aren't super important. Whoops. It doesn't really matter how quickly we, uh... I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Sorry. It's because the controller's button layout is not exactly like a DS's layout is, so I'm pressing what I would think is Y or X, but it's actually B with the controller setup I have. Got a Revive S, very useful. If I'm not mistaken, all of your Digimon fully heal when they level up in this game. I don't remember if that's how it works in Dawn and Dusk because it's been a hot second, but that's how it works in this game, I think. Or is it? I don't remember. Actually, no, maybe it isn't. I was thinking that's how it works because I saw that Sunomon and Poyamon were at full health and they had just leveled up, so I thought, oh, they fully healed by leveling up. But now that I think about it, they might just not have been hit yet. So that could be wrong. I don't remember. We'll find out eventually. Oh no, I've been charged. We'll find out the next time Sunomon levels up, because he's lost some HP now. I think you get fully healed when you level up. It might be that way in Dawn and Dust too. I really just cannot remember. Get charged on, son. Easy knockout. Alright, level up on Sunomon. It does fully heal you, I thought so. Does it fully heal you in Dawn and Dusk as well? It's been too long since I played uh, Dawn and Dusk. 
But you know what that means? It means it's almost time for me to do a Dawn playthrough. Because I did my Dusk playthrough a while back. But uh, I'll probably do another... Oh, I have Frothy Spit now. Go back. This uses a lot of MP. But uh, I'll probably do like Digimon World 1 or Digimon World 2 before I do... Uh... I should have just charged. That would have killed. Before I do Digimon World Dawn. I was also thinking about maybe doing uh, doing an NG plus of Digimon Story Hacker's Memory. Specifically on Twitch, but if I did it on Twitch, I'd put it on YouTube, of course. Because uh, some people were saying they'd like to watch it. Because I was talking about wanting to play the game again soon, because it's been a hot minute, and it is my favorite Digimon game. And I said that I wasn't sure if I'd uh, stream or record it or not. And then everyone in my Twitch chat that day, well, not everyone, but like a handful of people were like, yo, dude, I'd totally watch it. Do it. And I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe I should. I really wish we could run into more than one Digimon at a time because I want to get, uh, I mostly just want to get Sunomon. I think you have to get to level nine for Gomamon on Poyamon, but I mostly want to get Sunomon to level seven so I can have Gabumon for this upcoming fight. But honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we can just beat Ogremon with Frothy Spit. Because, I mean, the boss fight is right here. Here's the symbol for boss fights, this little purple panel. Whenever you see this, that means you're about to walk into a boss. Ah, here we go. Multiple opponents. Oh, what the heck? You can find Sunomon here? I could have sworn that you couldn't find Sunomon in the early game. But apparently you can. I was wrong. Should have picked Koromon. Maybe. No, wait. I think I remembered wrong. Maybe it's Koromon that you can't find in the early game, and so you need to pick Koromon because you can find Sunomon and Renamon, which can degenerate into Tanamon early game. Maybe I remembered wrong. That might be on me. That might be on me. Uh, yeah, there's Ogremon right there. Let's let's try it. I don't think you game over in this game. I'm pretty sure it just sends you back to the uh, Digi Central. The bronze plate Gabumon dropped. This must be it. Ah, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry. I was here looking for something. This is what you're holding it? If you found it here, it's mine. Huh? Why? This is Gabumon's. Shut up. Anything in my territory? It all belongs to me. If you say no, I'll take it with force. Oh, no. Do we have to fight? It always comes down to a fight, dude. That's video games. Yo, I like this music. Bum, bum, bum. 